Hey guys, this is Mike Jones and welcome to another NR 2003 tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to get the cars to race realistic just like real life here in 2020. So first thing you're going to need to go to is N ratings. If you don't have it, you can skip this part for now, but I have a tutorial on it on how to get it. Pick the car you want or the mod you want. I'm, I want to make them race like 2020, so I'm going to pick my 2020 mod. Import real life data. Come on. Pick the last two seasons because the 2020 season is not done and we did have this package in 2019 so I'm gonna pick those two seasons I'm gonna apply make sure you have mass graphics cup full season right here by the way and now it should change everybody and I'm going to go down to Matthew Benedetto since he switched to a better team I'm gonna make him better than he was so I'm gonna go to bulk modify all on his car both and I'm gonna add a value of let's say two to make him better at two on all his stats and then Daniel Suarez went to a team that's terrible compared to what it was so I'm going to minus three so then you save it now you got everybody saved all the drivers that you want um, for people that weren't there like Kenseth oh crap anyway change his name to Kenseth or Matt Kenseth, where's he at? And Bubba Wallace, put Bubba Wallace in for Wallace and all that stuff. Where you at, Wallace? And then all the rest, Suarez and the Suarez, and yeah. So then we save it, exit out, right click the NR 2003, go to file location, and let's go into the papai.ini. Make sure you right click, copy and paste it, and have a second copy like this one right here so that just in case you make any mistakes now go down to here this will be a zero change it to a one this will allow the drivers to spread out a little bit more on tracks just like real life same thing for here here and here change all those to ones from zero zero point zero three change it to zero point zero one mechanical failures i don't know if this is exactly realistic but you can change some of these a little bit so what I did is I took the engine failure and I cut it in half. So it was 30, I changed it to 15. And then for tire failure, I put up to 35 from 25. And then tire problem, I put up, that might be too much, but yeah. Then you file, save, exit. Then go into the tracks, whatever track you're gonna use. I'm going to use Charlotte right click your track INI copy and paste it just like this and then go into it uh, go here your chassis type right now should be 2 on a speedway change it to a 1 on the speedways to give you restrictor plate racing just like real life which will slow them down and all that good stuff then go down to your AI track um, you can bump up your AI line modifier just a bit maybe to 1.0 yeah, put it to 1.025 if it's at 1.01. That will allow them to slide up the track a little bit, which would make a little bit more passing in different lines. Uh, I changed the drafting distance down to 1.1 1 .1, um, just to make it more interesting racing when they are close together. And so you can do that. And then this is a major you need to do. Change the D-lap pad to 1.00. This will allow... Uh, lead cars to get by the lap cars a lot easier what it what it basically does is shows Shows the leaders like more room that they have to pass I guess instead of just trying to stay on the racing groove is how I guess I would do it anyway save it exit out go into your game and Then now that you're here whoops Make sure that you got the right mod and I do because these are their ratings and then Go to the race, go to pick the track that you did. I did Charlotte, realistic, yellow flags are on, double file restarts. I'm gonna go 10 laps, uh, 40 cars, because I'm not racing. This is just for AI only. Um, 20, 20 Daytona, I guess, I don't know. It doesn't matter. And that that's the roster. And then we go into it to your and car. qualifying. So they qualified. The qualifying is a lot slower, like Tyler Reddick is 4 seconds car. off the pace, 
I don't think they're that slow, so we will need to figure out how to get the qualifying a little closer, but I think the racing is pretty good. So Kyle Busch got the pole, that's kind of realistic, and then we'll go into the race. So we'll accelerate all this until it says wait. And now they're getting going, it looks like everybody's going. And so we'll see if the restart is kind of realistic. You got Chase Elliott up there in second, <laughs> that's cool. So everybody is going, sometimes you'll have one car that has some type of issue, but that's all right. That's because of the reliability. If you don't, if you want everybody to start, you can restart it again, even if you're doing a championship mode. Anyway, with the green flag out, we'll be able to see that this is pretty realistic. They're all still in line. I mean, this this is how it will be anyway, but it will change by the end of this lap. It will, I will show you how it becomes more realistic. So this is all pretty realistic. I mean, Harvick didn't have any draft help. So they're all going to drive about the same they would normally do in the first lap. But now you start to see the slower cars already slow down or start falling off. Maybe I didn't help Matt Kenseth enough. He's still back here. Huh. Maybe he's struggling this season. I don't know. But anyway, we do that. And now Chase Elliott is able to take the lead, it looks like. And you got some three wide already. And it will always be different. With these settings, it will always be different. And we got some three wide. The leaders still have not been able to completely take off yet, but they almost are. I might have put the drafting distance down too much. Maybe 1.2 would have been better, but then the racing wouldn't be so close at the beginning. Because it is going to spread out over time as Kyle Busch slides up. You already got... Quinn Huff and J or Justin Haley falling back. You got a couple of these cars. This is pretty realistic. By the end of the, of uh, this race, will only be 20 laps. You should expect at this track after lap 20 to start out lapping cars. So they should be half a lap down by uh, the uh, end of this race since I only did a 20 lap race. But it is possible that they might become outlapped and stuff like that. So now they're going to start going single file. The only thing you can't get realistic is people taking high lines and low lines and all different types of lines. They're always going to take the best line. On this. It's because it's a computer game. <laughs> and so they're going to do that. And we got a lot of battles for the lead. That's. I haven't figured out how to make dirty air a thing. But if we can do that, we might be able to keep like people behind it less passing. But, so far they are able to spread out a little bit, and you might even see caution. I mean, you see Truex get in the back of, of uh, the 9, and that's another thing with the ratings, the way they were, and the traction difference, is they don't expect each other to slow down as much. Like, sometimes they'll, like, their stats will go down. I don't know how to explain it. And that's why... Uh, Chase Elliott just fell back right now and Truex did get into him so what this will also do is cause like more wrecks or at least bumps and possible wrecks when I was testing this before um, I actually had a crash on like lap two but anyway you got the cars you expect to be in the back in the back Tyler Reddick don't expect him to be back that far so sometimes you will get people just to have bad days like Kenseth back there um, I mean, you're always going to have people have bad days once in a while. The leaders are already going like a whole second a lap or something over all these guys, which is what you expect. I don't know why the qualifying was so far off. But that's all right, I guess. Oh, no, they're losing two seconds a lap. Wow. Harvick took a big lead. That's kind of expected at a track like this. I can't remember. I don't think he won at this track, did he? This year? He might have, maybe that's why he's in the front, because this is the realistic stats. But anyway, you're getting some train racing right now, it looks like. But they are spreading out the amount you would expect. And you got the cars mostly running where they should. You can change their their stats themselves. So let's let's take a look and see. So we do expect Harvick to be up here, Hamlin, Kirkland. 
Kyle Busch. Eric Jones seems like he's doing a little better, but he hasn't switched teams, so he does have the right staff. Gano, Elliott, Boyer, all right, he's doing a little better than you expect. But sometimes they have good days, too. you got to also remember they're not always going to be perfect. Just like right now, it's pretty obvious that uh, Kevin Harvick is just having a great day right now as he is flying. Oh, my goodness. Um, it looks pretty good. Di Benedetto's right outside the top ten. Blaney's right outside the top ten. It looks pretty good so far. This is where you would expect all of these guys to possibly run. Suarez is still doing a little, probably a little better than he should, but maybe not. Ryan Freeze. I don't know why Kenseth is so slow. Tyler Reddick and Kenseth and Christopher Bell might need to be pushed up a little bit. It is the white flag. So Harvick, and the reason probably why Harvick also went up, not just because his track stats were or picked a good number today, but also his finishing probably picked a good number, and his consistency. Hamlin was able to take off second, and Kyle Busch and all that. So real quick, I just want to go back and simulate one more race with more laps. Let's go to the 40 so I can show you, hopefully there's no caution in this, so I can show you that there is um, drivers to your car. lap car, when the lap cars come in, how they pass the lap cars. Drivers I'm not going to, we're not going to do the full 40 laps either. So we're going to simulate a little bit. Looks like everybody got going, so that's good news. And it should be a lap... Oh, John Hunter Nemechek had a problem, so that doesn't count. Of why uh, why he's a lap down. So... Okay, right now... Nope, somebody else had a problem. That was William Byron. That's two problems. That's pretty rare. In 12 laps. Harvick took off again. Holy cow. Wow, he is fast. How did he get two good days in one? It is possible that he could have an issue later, though. But we'll see when he gets the lap traffic to make sure that he maneuvers the lap traffic. You can see how much faster he is, just like real life. That's probably how much faster he would be than Brandon Gaughan. And he goes for the pass pretty easily. Doesn't get stuck beyond lap traffic like they do in the base game when you uh, don't change the AI stats. And we also got, we got a lot of drafting for second, but for some reason Harvick is just unstoppable. But these are little changes you can make, like if you want Harvick to be a little slower, you can bump him down. Oh, he does get stuck a little bit, but he does go for the pass right away when he can on Gase, so that did slow him down a bit. And we'll just simulate just a little bit more to see how the pack gets through it. And with, with multiple cars, there's still going to be a car that most likely gets stuck behind, especially on a track like this. Logano got stuck because really there's only two lanes, but he will force it three wide to get by the lap car. But it did mess him up. So they are still going to get stuck. I mean, it's not perfect, but it is pretty good realistic racing. We got Harvick just going by the lap cars like nothing. And the lap cars actually kind of get out of the way. I don't know why Kenseth is so slow, though. <laughs> It's possible he just picked a bad number for his stats. Anyway, at the halfway point, they're already outlapping a few cars. And it's mostly because Harvick is just unstoppable. But by the end of 40 laps, I don't know how much their fuel run is on here. Ooh, we got, we got Bubba Wallace in front of the leader. So Harvick did get stuck. And because Byron went for the pass, he got stuck again, but he was able to force the pass. See, they'll actually force it three wide a little bit more when they're trying to pass a car that's slower than them in front, which is really good with these stats. Oh my goodness, Harvick is so fast. All right, I don't know why Harvick came that fast, but he's a little bit overpowered. Christopher Bell needs to be a little faster, it looks like. But, yeah, you can just change their stats a little bit. The end ratings isn't perfect. But once you change the stats a little bit, he can be a difference maker. I don't think Harvick will be that unstoppable. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous.
Holy cow, he's fast. And I would say the rest is pretty realistic. Like, you might expect Kurt Busch to take off second and all the rest. Almirola's been pretty much top 10 lately. Matt DiBenedetto's up there. You got the lap car Brandon gone, getting outlapped by Hamlin and a few others. David Reagan's going a lap down. And so by the end of 40 laps, you're going to have, it looks like, 20 or so cars a lap down. It's a good thing they can make it more than 40 laps on gas. Where the heck is Harvick? So Harvick's still leading it. But anyway, if we go back to the last lap now, Harvick is going to win the race, which is realistic. I mean, it is realistic that Harvick wins. I don't know why I made this video so long. I hope I was just trying to explain all the different things. I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, please click the like button and uh, comment any suggestions for future NR2003 tutorials. And subscribe for more. Hit the notification bell, and we'll see you guys next time.